Okay, so in chapter one, you have an opportunity to upgrade your gourd to a blessed gourd level that will allow you to take in the spirits of some of the mini bosses that you defeat and then use that spirit in combat. We are <clears throat> at the snake trail in Bamboo Grove. And this guy is missable if you're just like running past. So it's important that you sort of go, who's hmm. there chatting? Because you can just run past him. Have you seen those nameless souls adrift on your path? Their wheels float aloft, never to fade. Shame, your god serves little purpose, and mine answers solely to me. Hmm. I know a way to guide the souls, mend their paths, and set them free. It will aid you. Now, oh, this is better. This gourd, though humble, may save the lost, banish their obsessions, and guide them. So the blessed gourd, under the guidance of a wise master, the destined one has mastered the art of spirit absorption. The gourd possesses remarkable divine capabilities, allowing it to absorb the lingering wills of spirits left behind by formidable Yalgui's who have been defeated. Yalgui's? I said it wrong. Um, in here, once we come across the next one, and that's what we're going to be doing next, is there is a frog guy whose name I just cannot pronounce. Uh, that we're going to defeat, and his spirit will be stored here in this little box. There are others along the way in this chapter that you can defeat, and their spirits will be stored here, and then you can choose one that you can use its particular quick skill. There's like a like one little skill that they pick and choose from what that enemy has to offer that you can then utilize in combat yourself. So that's what the Blessed Gourd is. That's how to upgrade it, how to get it, who to talk to to get it, and where in the equipment screen any spirits that you collect from here on out will be stored. Now, the Wandering White from the outside the forest earlier is one of these spirits. I have never defeated him early enough to see what happens if you do so i don't know if you defeat him and then you upgrade like i don't know if he's just gone or if he's going to end up in here so I, I don't know the answer to that so if you do know uh leave a comment let me know because that's something i would love to know but i've been unable to defeat him with the starting staff so all right so after you get your gourd blessed you can fight like I mentioned earlier, you can fight um, certain optional bosses that, when beating them, will give you their spirits. So I have since done that. And I now have Bali Gulang as an option that I can now use in combat. One of the new things that you can do once you get a spirit in that slot is you can cultivate spirits through any shrine. So when you click on this, you can actually upgrade it. By defeating this guy, I got a tadpole, so that's where that came from. You'll get usually what you need to upgrade it by defeating the first one. So that's the blessed gourd stuff. <laughs> 